Welcome everyone! In this video, we will be talking about degrees of adjectives. Adjectives have three degrees. These are positive, comparative, and superlative degrees. The positive degree is used to describe one noun or pronoun. The comparative degree is used to compare two nouns or pronouns. And the superlative degree is used to compare three or more nouns or pronouns. Let's take smart as an example. In the positive degree, you do not need to add anything to the adjective. So, the positive degree of smart is still smart. Now, let us use it in a sentence. Joe is a smart student. In this sentence, smart describes only one person, and that is Joe. Now, let's have the comparative degree. Let's use it in a sentence. Ned is smarter than Joe. As we can see in this sentence, there are two nouns being compared. Ned and Joe and smart became smarter and this is one way of forming the comparative degree of an adjective. We add er to it. Now let us see what happens to the adjective smart when it is used to compare three or more nouns. Let us use it in a sentence. Lee is the smartest student in the class. In this sentence, Lee is being compared against all other students in the class. And smart became smartest. And this is one way of forming the superlative degree of an adjective. We add EST to it. Now, I'll show you another way of forming the comparative and superlative degrees. Let's take interesting as an example. The positive degree of interesting is still interesting. Let's use it in a sentence. Math is an interesting subject. In this sentence, interesting is used to describe only one subject, which is math. Now, let's use Interesting to compare two nouns and let us see what happens to it. Science is more interesting than math. As we can see, there are two subjects being compared in the sentence. Science and math. What happened to the adjective interesting? It became more interesting. And this is another way of forming the comparative degree of an adjective. We put more before it. What about the superlative degree of interesting? Let's use it in a sentence. English is the most interesting subject in school. This sentence means that English is being compared against all other subjects in school. And interesting became most interesting. And this is another way of forming the superlative degree of an adjective. We add most before it. Did you get it? Sir, yes, sir. The question is, when do we add er and est or more and most? To answer this question, let me show you the following rules. For one syllable adjectives, Add ER to their comparative forms and EST to their superlative forms. For example, short, shorter, shortest, warm, warmer, warmest. Next, for one syllable adjectives that end in E, drop the E before adding ER to their comparative forms and EST to their superlative forms. For example, safe, 
safer, safest. Another one, nice, nicer, nicest. Okay, next. For one-syllable adjectives that end in a consonant with a vowel before it, double the consonant before adding ER or EST, like big, bigger, biggest, thin, thinner, thinnest. Next rule. For two-syllable adjectives that end in Y, change Y to I before adding ER to their comparative forms and EST to their superlative forms. For example, easy, easier, easiest, lovely, lovelier, loveliest. Next rule. For most two-syllable adjectives not ending in Y and three-syllable adjectives use the form more plus adjective for comparative and most plus adjective for superlative. For example, peaceful, more peaceful, most peaceful, expensive, more expensive, most expensive. There are also adjectives that have irregular comparative and superlative forms. For example, good, better, best, bad, worse, worse, many or much, more, most, far, farther, or further, farthest, or furthest, little, less, least. Alright, I know there are quite a lot to remember, so to help you remember those rules, let us have an activity. Your task is to choose the correct form of the adjective to complete the sentence. Number one, my drawing is blank than yours. Colorful, more colorful, or most colorful? The answer is more colorful. Why? Because in this sentence, there are two nouns being compared. My drawing and your drawing. So we have to use the comparative degree. Next, Jane is the blank runner in our group. Fast, faster, fastest. The answer is fastest because in this sentence, Jane is being compared against all other runners in their team or group. So we have to use the superlative degree. Next sentence. The blue whale is the blank animal in the world. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. The answer is heaviest. Because in this sentence, the blue whale is being compared against all other animals in terms of their weight. So we have to use the superlative degree. Next, Fe is a blank girl. Talented, more talented, most talented. What do you think is the answer? It is talented, positive degree. Why? Because there is no comparison made in this sentence. We are only describing one person, and that is Fe. Next, J is blank than Ray. Hardworking, more hardworking, or most hardworking? The answer is more hardworking. 
because in this sentence, we are comparing two persons, J and Ray. So we have to use the comparative degree. Clear? Yes, sir. Awesome. Now let us have another activity. Give the comparative and superlative forms of each of the following adjectives. Let's have small. Let's answer smaller, smallest. Next, happy, happier, and happiest. Take note that we changed Y to I before adding ER and EST. Next, important, more important, and most important. We used more and most because the word has three syllables. Next, brave, braver, and bravest. Since brave ends in E, we had to drop E before adding ER for its comparative degree and EST for its superlative degree. Last number, hot. Let's answer. Hotter, hottest. Take note that we doubled the consonant T before adding ER and EST because the letter before it is a vowel, which is O. So, we're done kids. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.